Hello, this is Dr. Rajni Mandal with Pathology Watch, here with your 3D 3-Minute Digital Dermatopathology Digest. Today's topic is syringomas. Syringomas are commonly found in the periorbital and genital region and can be associated with Down syndrome. They can present as disseminated solitary or eruptive lesions. Common variant is seen here. Note that this is a proliferation that is limited to the superficial dermis and there is a pink fibrotic stroma. There is a proliferation of eccrine ducts. Note that the eccrine ducts many times have an eccentric lumen and can have a tadpole shape. The eccrine uh, ducts can have a clear cell phenotype as seen in this case. Clear cell syringomas are most associated with diabetes. There's another form of syringomas known as the mixed tumor, also known as chondroid syringoma. This is present as dermal tumors which are commonly found in elderly males in the head and neck region. This is one form of a mixed tumor, also known as chondroid syringoma. There's a proliferation of epithelium, which is actually eccrine with cuticle formation, as well as stroma. And here you can see myxoid stroma with fibroblasts. This is another form of a mixed tumor. Here, the epithelial proliferation is apocrine with decapitation secretion, whereas the stromal proliferation does have a myxoid stroma with fibroblasts. It also has fat cells or adipocytes. Yet another mixed tumor here, I want you to note this blue area, and this is where the chondroid um, phenotype of chondroid syringomas comes from. This is immature cartilage with bubbly, blue matrix as well as floating chondrocytes. Mature cartilage has a different look to it. Here is mature cartilage in another chondroid syringoma. You can see the mature cartilage having a glassy stroma, which is both blue and pink, as well as lacunae with chondrocytes sitting in it. This case also shows another finding which you can see, which is bone formation. This is calcified bone. So here are your five flashbacks for today. Syringomas are common in the periorbital and genital region. They can be associated with Down syndrome. It can be disseminated, solitary, or eruptive. Eruptives are found in Nicolau Balou's syndrome. So a common variant is a proliferation of eccrine ducts or tadpoles in a fibrotic stroma. The differential diagnosis includes microcystic adnexal carcinoma and desmoplastic trichorbidilioma. Clear cell syringoma is associated with diabetes. Finally, mixed tumors are known as chondroid syringoma. It's common in elderly males in the head and neck region and is a circumscribed dermal tumor. You can see an apocrine or eccrine proliferation in a fibrous myxoid or chondroid stroma. Here's your bonus review question for today. A 13-year-old female presents with numerous new papules on the face and chest. Her mother also has the same papules. Which of the following is not part of the syndrome? White superficial keratinous cysts, ice pick depressions of follicular orifices on dorsal hands, feet, and face, pitted atrophic scars in a honeycomb pattern on the face, and superficial dermal proliferation of duct-like structures in tadpole shape. The answer is B. I expect depressions of follicular orifices on dorsal hands, feet, and face. A, C, and D are all descriptions of Nikolai Ballou's syndrome. That's it for me for today. This is Dr. Rajni Mandel from Pathology Watch, revolutionizing pathology for dermatologists. Check us out at pathologywatch.com.